With the HeartStart Intrepid Monitor Defibrillator, you can wirelessly transmit data such as 12-lead ECGs, vital signs data, and event summaries over Wi-Fi or cellular mobile networks to the Philips IntelliSpace Connect Cloud. This is the Intrepid Wireless Communication Module, which enables cellular mobile transmission. To operate on cellular mobile networks, the communication module must have a SIM or subscriber identification module card from your local cellular mobile network provider installed. To install the SIM card, open the rubber plug to access the SIM slot. Orient the SIM card in this way and push it into the slot until it is fully seated and latches. Then, close the rubber plug on the SIM slot. The next step is to connect the communication module to the Heart Start Intrepid. It connects here on the back of the device. If your device has a carry case, feed the communication module cable through the opening in the rear or side pouch. Attach the cable to the connector on the Heart Start Intrepid. Tighten the thumb screws to ensure a good connection. To wirelessly send information using either Wi-Fi or the communication module, you'll need the Philips IntelliSpace Connect Cloud URL and your IntelliSpace Connect account number, which can be obtained from your Philips representative. Optionally, you may choose to assign a reference ID to identify your Intrepid device. To configure the Heart Start Intrepid for wireless communication, use the Smart Select knob to select Main Menu, Other, then Configuration. Select Yes to exit Clinical Mode. Press the Smart Select knob and the Configuration menu opens. Highlight and select Communication and the Configuration Communication screen opens. It's here that you enter the reference ID, which may be used to identify the Intrepid device or the vehicle to which the device is assigned. The IntelliSpace Connect Cloud URL, which was provided with your account ID notification, and the account ID field, which is your six digit. Philips IntelliSpace Connect account ID. Here are the destination fields. These fields contain the identification of the hospital or medical facility that has access to the data that is sent from the Heart Start Intrepid. You must enable a destination to send data to that location. If no destination is specified, the data is available only to the Heart Start Intrepid device owner. You can optionally enter one or more destinations using the Smart Select knob. Let's demonstrate how to add information to any of these fields by entering another destination. Highlight and select a new field. An on-screen keyboard appears. Use the Smart Select knob to highlight and select each letter. When finished, highlight OK and then select. When you have completed your configuration choices, make sure you save the changes before exiting configuration mode. Press the Main Configuration soft key. Press the Save Discard soft key. In the pop-up menu, press Save. Enter your configuration password. Press OK. And then exit Config. If you will be using a cellular or mobile network to transmit data, you need to configure the Heart Start Intrepid for cellular mobile wireless communication. This is done from the Configuration menu. Select Cellular. The Configuration Cellular Configuration screen appears. Complete the fields with information described in the Heart Start Intrepid instructions for Use Configuration chapter. You will need to contact your cellular mobile network provider to obtain the correct access point name, APN, for the APN string field.
If you will be using Wi-Fi to transmit data, you will need to configure the Heart Start Intrepid for your network. This is also done from the Configuration menu. Select Wi-Fi from the Configuration menu to enter the Configuration Wi-Fi screen. Complete the fields with information described in the Heart Start Intrepid instructions for Use Configuration chapter. Please note that security can be one of two groups, personal, used in small businesses and homes, or enterprise, used in large businesses. Available parameters will depend on the security type selected. Not all settings may be required. For the appropriate values, please contact your Wi-Fi network administrator. During an event, you can send 12 lead ECGs or vitals data, while after an event, you can send the event summary. Successful transmission of any data is dependent on a number of factors, including the availability of public or private telecommunications networks, as well as other factors that can affect cellular communications. The process for sending a 12-lead report and vital signs during an event is similar. We'll demonstrate how to begin sending each type of data and the rest of process using the 12-lead report as an example. If you're sending the current 12-lead data from 12-lead mode during an event, following acquisition, press the Send soft key. If configured, the device will display a destination list. Select a destination with the Smart Select knob. The device will automatically begin sending the 12 lead report. The Send soft key will remain grayed out until the transmission is complete. If you have multiple 12 lead reports from an event, use the Smart Select knob to choose Reports, then select a report from the list. When the information is sent successfully, this message appears. If this message appears, the data failed to send. Ensure that the Wi-Fi or cellular connectivity icon is lit. Then send the data again. It should be noted that the Heart Start Intrepid defaults to Wi-Fi transmission. To switch to cellular transmission, press the Smart Select knob to bring up the main menu. Then select Switch to Cellular. This icon indicates a Wi-Fi network connection is active. This icon indicates cellular or mobile transmission is available. To send vitals data, the Heart Start Intrepid must be in monitor mode. Press the Smart Select knob and from the menu, select Transmit Vitals. Select the destination with the Smart Select knob and the device will begin sending. To send event summaries from data management mode following an event, enter the main menu, select Other, and then Data Management. Highlight and select Yes to exit clinical mode. This screen displays with a list of events stored in data management internal memory. Use the Smart Select knob to highlight the event you wish to send and then press the Smart Select knob. In the pop-up menu, highlight and select Transmit Event. When the destination is selected, it automatically begins sending. When the information is sent successfully, this message appears. If the data fails to send, this message appears. Select OK to close the window.